Hey everyone, in this video, we're diving into one of Lightroom's newest features, landscape masking. Whether you're working with sweeping vistas, city parks, or desert scenes, Lightroom's AI can now identify and separate elements like the sky, vegetation, ground, and even buildings and bridges with just a tap. I'll show you how to take full control of these masks, refine them like a pro, and create subtle but impactful edits that really bring your images to life. Let's get started. Simply tap on Landscape, and Lightroom will automatically analyze the scene and identify different components like the sky, vegetation, and natural ground. Landscapes can be complex, with overlapping elements like trees in front of mountains or vegetation covering natural ground. That's why it's important to keep an eye on what's being selected. You can always refine your masks using Add, Subtract, or Intersect for some control and precision. Let me show you an example. I'm going to select the sky, vegetation, and ground and create three separate masks. Tap to create. Now I'll start to make some adjustments for the sky. I'll darken it slightly and shift the tone to a deeper blue. For the vegetation, I often like to add some clarity to enhance texture and detail. And for the ground, I usually treat it separately, either lightening or darkening it to create a visual foundation. Might add some texture as well. Here's a good example of how you can refine your masks. I want to apply texture, but I've already boosted clarity for the vegetation. I don't want it to look overly crunchy. So in this case, I'll subtract the natural ground from the vegetation mask. Tap, subtract, choose landscape, natural ground. Now you'll see the natural ground has been excluded from the vegetation mask. I can now treat it separately, perhaps darkening a bit more and adding subtle texture. Now let's compare the before and after. The adjustments are subtle, but they add incredible depth and dimension to the scene. Check this out. Lightroom even detected artificial ground like the path in the background and the concrete. I'm fine with it for now, but if needed, I can always paint out specific areas. The natural ground remains in the foreground, and once I'm done with the landscape elements, I often add a subject mask, especially when there's a clear subject in the scene. This lets me treat the subjects separately and make them stand out more. In this image, Lightroom recognized the wall as the architectural element, which is accurate. I pulled out some of the yellow tones to reduce the washed out feel. For the trees, I added a little green and a touch of texture while the ground was darkened slightly for balance. Then I added the subject mask to lighten the camel and man just a bit, helping them pop against the background. In another shot, I darkened the mountains to push them in the background and add a clarity to the water. Once again, the subject was treated separately. Now let's be real. Landscape masking isn't quite the same as people masking. Landscapes vary wildly from close up to wide angles, from fine art to architectural scenes. That variation means landscape masks sometimes need a little more finesse, but with a little bit of attention to detail, you can get amazing results. So next time you're editing a landscape in Lightroom, try these AI powered masks and refine them to suit your creative vision. It's pretty incredible what you can do. Got questions about masking or Lightroom in general? Drop them in the comments. We'd love to help you out and check us out in the Adobe community forums. Thanks for watching and happy editing.